بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته this is Um Asim Afshan Khan so this is um this is a video that's going to be the follow up uh, of the first video I did and again uh, these are the requests I'm receiving to do a lot of work um, around the, the narcissistic and the empath uh, uh, relationship that I come across on a daily basis uh, something I have written about in my second book uh, in quite in depth uh, alhamdulillah so um We've talked about what narcissism is, just to condense it a little bit, what a narcissism is. It's, a, it's a, the other person, one person controlling the other person. Uh, it could be a form of a, a very aggressive, very angry behavior. Uh, there's a spectrum of it. Um, it could be constant criticizing, it's my way, the highway. It's always believing that they're right and you're wrong. They may have an ego problem. They may be very addictive in certain respects. Um, they find they find self, uh, a little lack self respect in the in, sorry in uh, respecting others. Uh, it's always about them. So so why is it then they will marry somebody who will be the empath? So let me just speak about the empath. So as I said, there's two words: the empath and codependent are same things. People who are empath are what we call givers. Uh, they like to give and give and give until there's nothing left to give. And in this kind of relationship, this is why I see as a marriage counsellor and as a counsellor of obviously of sisters who, who lack self-esteem, is when you give, 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 then the body starts to uh, give up because there's only so much you can give. And we know the, uh, we know the hadith where the Prophet Sallallahu said that the body has a right uh, over you. So we also have to look after ourselves. But in this relationship, it becomes very complicated. So we, we give. Um, so everything that um, the narcissistic person may want the spouse may want uh, you try to make things better you never think about yourself you never think about your own needs you never think about what you want if you in a situation where you're always trying to control the situation so it becomes better for somebody else but never better for you so the spotlight is never actually on you it's always on somebody else so you give and you give and you give so the empath uh, is a person who is always there for everybody else um he, um he or she may self doubt quite a lot may lack self respect may not believe in themselves so they are very easily controlled now for some reason and Allah knows best uh, it's like a magnetic pull uh, between the narcissist and the empath and somehow um obviously i'm totally talking from my experience here i see somehow they get together and once they're in this relationship it becomes quite destructive and over time usually three years, four years, five years, ten, even 25 years I've seen uh, the person who's the empath obviously becomes drained and it becomes very difficult. Um, so this is the reason why I wrote about this in my book because I give solutions, I give advice and how to help um, uh, the both uh, disorders in a sense and obviously therapy is the best way. So um, I hope that today's um, given some light um, on that, I will be speaking about self-esteem, inshallah, in one of my other videos, which I think is very, very important because some of these disorders may uh, be lack of self-esteem and self-belief in ourselves. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.